Good morning, day three of Bet Victor Championship League snooker begins in just a couple of hours' time and here with me to preview the action is our commentator Dave Hend. And before we look ahead to today's groups, Dave, a little bit of a recap on yesterday. Barry Hawkins sailed through on table one. He looked so good, didn't he? He's got a new cue and I suspect because of that he'll have been practising hard for the new season. He did use it at the World Championship but he's dropped out the top 16 so it's a big season for him. Played very well indeed, and he had that luxury of coming into his last match with Sam Craigie. And it didn't matter what the result was, you know, he, he knew he'd won the group. And Sam Craigie, we were looking forward to seeing he'd performed well here in the summer, but he didn't really get going until actually he was already out of the group. That's right, played really well against Barry. What, what can do you in here is the draws. He had two draws, and OK, he wasn't beaten, but you only get a point for each. So he went into the match with Barry knowing that uh, he couldn't win, but he, he knew he could finish second, and he, and he did. He played really well, showed flashes there of how well he played in the summer and it's something to build on for him now going forward to next week at the European Masters. And something to build on as well for Ben Hancock, made his professional debut here and he only lost one match but two draws. Yeah, I mean it's so cutthroat isn't it again the format, just four frames. He was very nervous I think in the first match against Barry and then you know you lose 3-0, you're always chasing it but as you say he wasn't beaten after that. And over on table two, it was an interesting group because at different times, Gary Wilson, then Robert Milkins and Jamie Jones could all have qualified. It was the Milkman who got there in the end, though. Championship League experience, you can't buy it, can you? And, and Robert's got plenty of that. Uh, yeah, Gary Wilson started off really well, winning 3-0. But uh, yeah, Milkins, uh, you know, didn't panic. And look who we've got in, in that group now. We've got Judd Trump, Ryan Day, Barry Hawkins, Robert Milkins, four stalwarts of the Championship League. It is a great group to look forward to in stage two. Looking ahead to today, and Stephen Maguire's on the TV table, and of course, last time he was here, he won the Tour Championship. He's got happy memories of Milton Keynes. He won that Tour Championship. He won the bonus prize as well for the series, so a quarter of a million last time he was here. So I'm sure he's looking forward to coming back. Obviously, this event is different because they're shorter matches. They were best of 17s, more time to get going. Uh, this is different, but I'm sure, yeah, he's looking forward to playing here again. He's in the group with Lewis Heathcote, with Dominic Dale and Leo Fernandez. Who do you think might cause an upset there? Dominic Dale, always a danger man, you know, still a very tough player, a bit inconsistent as players tend to be when they get older, but when he plays well, he's got all the nous, all the experience of the tactical game, he can still score heavily. Uh, Heathcote, uh, Rookie of the Year um, in the World Snooker Awards, and actually Ronnie O'Sullivan, he made all those comments at the Crucible about the players down the rankings, but he actually named him, and I think Karen was the other one, as the two younger players in their 20s to look out for, so that's a great compliment to him, I'm sure that he'll be looking to make good on that. And over on table two, Jambo Zhao, Zhao Yulong, Gerard Green, and another Championship League stalwart, Ricky Walden. Well, again, it wouldn't be the Championship League would it, if Ricky wasn't playing. Yeah, that's a tough one to call. I guess, you know, he, he's definitely in the running. Zhao Yulong, though, is the top seed. He was runner-up in the European Masters and the shootout last season. He's one of these players who's knocking on the door of the top 16. And, of course, this is a ranking event now, so this could help if he could get through to the next phase. I guess he starts favourite, but that one, that could go down to the last match, I think. That could be very tight. Well, the action gets underway at 11am. If you're in the UK, you can watch Table 1 on Free Sports and both tables are alive around the world at matchroom.live.